Okay, in this video we're going to cover how to get the W wide flange beam family into Revit 2021. So uh, what we're going to do here is I have two files, the RFA, this is a Revit family, and then this is a TXT, this is a text file for the W flange in the assignment. What we have to do is you need to download each file, so you just select it, it should download, no preview, so go ahead and hit download, and we'll see it pop up here in my downloads. We'll go back to the file for the W flange TXT file. We'll go ahead and download that, and it'll come up, hit the download arrow, and it'll show up down here. These are in our download files. So that's fantastic. We can go ahead and close those up. We don't need to have these open in a browser window anymore. And now what we need to do is we need to take those two files and we need to move them into the proper location so that Revit will find them when we like to go in and load families. So to do that, what we need to do is we need to follow this path. Get off of that. We need to follow this path. And we need to go into the C drive, program data, Autodesk, RVT 2021, libraries, English, structural framing, and then steel, and that's where we're going to drop the uh, both of these files, okay? So we need to go into the Windows Explorer, down here, this file button. Now, one thing that you need to do before you proceed any further in the Windows Explorer is you need to come up here to the View tab. You need to click on this View tab at the top of the screen, and you have to come over and you have to check Hidden Items. If you do not check Hidden Items, you will not be able to see the rest of the files as we continue through looking for the proper location to place the W flange and wide flange beams. And then we're going to go in and we're going to find the C drive. Then we're going to slide down until we find program data. Then we're going to go find Autodesk. Then we're going to go find the Revit 20 RVT 2021. There that is. And then we're going to go find what's it? Libraries. There we go. And then from libraries, we're going to go down and find English Imperial. All right, now we can dive down on this until we find that structural framing. Good. And then steel. Now, as we slide down in here, this is where we need to copy the files from our downloads into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here. I'm going to right click on my file folder, hit File Explorer. And then the same thing, we're going to go find, there's my downloads. And here it is. There's my W wide flange, W wide flange. Now, I've gone ahead and downloaded these a few times and tested this out. So you can see I have a one and a two and a one and a two. So the, the best thing I can tell you to do is that you need to actually be able to take and you need to then pull in a W wide flange and a W wide flange. One is the text document. The other one is the Autodesk Revit family. So you have to have both of those files. So I'm going to go ahead, select, select, hold down control and click on both of those. Right click, hit copy. Now that those two are copied, I'm going to then go back to this window. And this is where I have the structural, imperial structural framing steel. I'm just going to go ahead and right click and I'm going to go ahead and hit paste. What that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and paste that W wide flange one, W wide flange one into here. Now, if you've never downloaded these before, it'll just say W wide flange, no ones behind them, okay? Now that you have those in this family file, all right, you're all set and ready to go. You can close out of both of those. Then when you go into Revit and you go to place a structural piece of steel, you go to structural, go to your beam. Um, whoop, I'm already in there, so let me get out of that. Let me do structural, go to my beam, and then when I hit load family, what I should be able to do is slide down here. This is that same location, program data, Autodesk, RVT, libraries. All right, that pops up automatically. Slide down to the bottom, and then you can see that you have your W wide flange. Very important, it's not loaded in the current version, so you have to go find it. Then when you hit W wide flange, whether you hit the one or not, hit open, and this pops up. This is where you can go in and select your steel beam. Sliding all the way down here to like residential sizes. Here's your 12s, uh, your 10s, etc., etc. So there you go. That's how we go ahead and load 
that W wide flange beam into our particular drawing. All right, hope that helps.